So here's the first pool. We got Alpha. Uh, Dragon Slayer. Alpha Dragon Slayer in the same pool. That's a fun one. Genghis Don. Anya. Probable cause can cause some problems. But it should be probably the first two I mentioned. Kakoma down here. Ooh. Kakoma and Sonic Fox in the same pool is very interesting. Chain grabs are here too. What's up, man? Good luck. Be the upsetter. That could be fun. I wonder if this is Grim. If this is Grim that I'm thinking of, he used to be pretty good. I think he was Paul or Bears. I can't remember. But either way, he used to be pretty good. Let's skip right ahead to the projections. Boy. Uh, Yamasa Yu. Squall. SVL. Okay. Nothing too crazy. For, I think Yu has that. You never know, though. Ryan Hart. Pastel Sweater. Fred Distance. Strike Mist. This one's more interesting. Like, Ryan... And Fred Distance should make it out of this. But... I don't know. I don't know. Yopalix. Ice Cold Edge. Gilkey. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah! I'm so happy Gilkey's going now. This is... This could be cool. This could be so cool. If Gilkey wins this pool, oh my god, this is perfect. Like, it, it couldn't have lined up better for this, you know? It really couldn't have. Yoplix wins this free? Nah, y'all y'all underestimating Gilkey. You, like, the name you guys aren't even looking at is here. Stormbreaker. This guy's from EU, right? He wins his first match here. He gets Gilkey. Gilkey could send EU to lose a bracket early. Early. Right? This guy just won an ICFC. Right? <laughs> and then... Like, it's a little risky to see if Gilkey gets past Ice Cold Edge. But then he has a chance to take out another EU? He He's the only guy who has a chance to take out two EU in the same pool because of the bracket placement. Right? That's that that could be so fun to talk shit about later. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? That's awesome. I'm excited about that shit. Uh, and I like Yopalix. I think he's cool. Uh, then we got Take Cookie Massacre. Cookie Massacre isn't Ling Massacre, right? Paul Z. Is Murasama a, an actual Japan player or not? From Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm going to say that he's not actually a Japanese player. Oh my god, I can't even go back. Come on. How do I close this out? Close? Does that work? Nice. Wait, where are we? What the hell pool is this? How did it take me so far back? Me and Take? We're not in the same pool, no. We're supposed to meet afterwards. I right, 26 is where we're at. Unless that's an L, I don't know. That was 26 with Take, 27. Who do we got? Chikorin? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Chi Chi? Not familiar with Chi Chi. Hudad Jr. Chickering should have that. Oh my gosh. The yawns are killing me. DBP, he's going to be a fun one to watch at this tournament. DBP and Way Gamble. Ooh, and Alex Nostalgics. Damn. Better than expected, that pool. Damn, if Wayne can stop DBP, that would be pretty good. John Ding? I haven't seen Wayne play in a minute, though. I don't even know if he can beat anyone anymore. 
Uh, John Ding. Shrike. Shockwave. Uh, yeah, John Ding should have that. Mm. Are these the finalized pools? There's like another 20 minutes for them to totally finalize it, but I can't imagine that they've waited this long to make changes. You know, 20 more minutes, guys, make the changes, you know? Uh, and they already said that the big changes are made over the weekend, so should be right. Uh, Cuddlecore, Congo Jack, EGP Tekken, which is probably someone from SoCal, Muto. Cuddle should have this. Cuddle's been playing, like, so much. K Wiss. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's a Tuya? Matrix Matt. What's a Tuya K Wiss will be an interesting one when they get down to the winter final. That one's uh, one of those matches where it could go either way. Joe Crush? Who's this? Who's this NK guy? Is this um Salt Lake City? Okay. I saw the I thought the weird character was like a Japanese character. So Joe Crush. Big boy. Joe Crush be playing very well. I think he's got that. You played some of these dudes? There's a lot of dudes. Uh Super Kuma. Aru is in Super Akuma's pool? Whoa. Beast Infection? Beast Infection is a wild card, man. He's definitely, I won't say a gatekeeper, but if you're sleeping on him at all, uh, you might be in trouble. Jackie Tran? Hotnik sounds really familiar to me. Why, do, why does Hotnik sound so familiar? Lazy Ace Jace? Trill Shola? Yeah, there you are. You're, dude, take him out. Your pool is winnable. You got this. Ah, uh, there he is, knee. Hey, this Sora is not the one for the Middle East, right? It says TJU, it's gotta be like an American or something, right? Oh, it doesn't say where they're from. But well, it does say Tristan Scott. That doesn't sound like a very Middle Eastern name. Knee. Earthstar. Dude, if someone like Earthstar beats me, I'll be... Man, this is so whack. Hotnix from MLG, Florida player. You met him before? Damn, yeah. His name sounds familiar to me. I just don't remember. Knee got knees back because they changed it, dude. Knees bracket used to have Raylo right here. Raylo is uh, he's a Brian player. Like, that would have been so cool. Because I think that Raylo's path could have had a meet up with Nii. But because Arslan and Spag were tweeting, they went and moved all the seeds around. So now they're not in the same place anymore. This is so dumb, by the way. I can't emphasize how dumb that was. Uh, Khan. Here. Super small pig. Every pool is like one good player. Dude, that's the thing. Like they complained about the pools and there was no death pool at all. Like all of the pools, every single one of them had two people that were gonna make it out and the rest of the people were just there to be there, you know? Uh, whatever, it's, it's actually, I'm actually upset that they changed it. You know what I mean? The pools were fair before. It's not even the pools are fair, the pools were fair. Geo in here with Gen. Good luck, Geo. I don't think two people should be able to sway these kinds of things. It's just dumb. Like, on, on, on every level, right? It doesn't make any sense to me. The fact that Evo put out pools, and like, usually they do this, right? Where people can put in feedback to say, hey, uh, you guys made the bracket, but me and my neighbor are playing each other and we're traveling there together So can you swap that? That's what it's there for, right? And 
it's like, or it's like, hey, you guys see it terribly. There's ten good people in this one pool, and no one's in these other pools. None of that applied at all, at all. And they went and made them change the pools. Like, number one, they shouldn't have been complaining about it. Number two, Evo should not have done that. You know, they should not have changed it. It was fine. Um, my opponents are too hard. See me higher. Yeah, it, I think I think it was bad on like every front. Uh, Joka up here, he had a tweet recently where he said he's feeling good about Evo. That's cool. He made top four at Combo Breaker or the CEO, CEO. Top four at CEO. He did very well there. Case Neon in here. I forgot. I remember it was CEO because Joker was sitting there and Super Kuma, he won that round and he jumped in the ring and when he landed in the ring, like, everything almost flipped over. It's pretty funny. Hey, Rip, the German Brian is Starbreaker, not Stormbreaker, you fucking dummy. Man, I don't know anybody from EU. <laughs> Uh-huh. And why are you getting a heart attack? Just beat his ass anyway. It's going to be the same guy. Uh, Alright. Then we got uh, stars. Dude, no way. Is this the actual star scream? Oh, it's not. Anaheim, California. Boo. I thought that was star scream from London. I was like, star scream is coming? Anaheim, California. Shadow 20Z. BL's in Shadow's Pool and Jabali. And Chavello. This is like... Like, this is one of the hardest pools I've seen. Right? And this is not a hard pool. Like, Shadow will make it through here easy. Chavello and Shadow are the two people who will make it here, right? But this is the hardest pool I've seen. Jabali and BL. The ultimate battle. You know? Like... Yeah. Moving on. Arsel and Ash. This is not even the pool that Nii was in. Brandini. Alright, alright. Brandini, this is your moment. This is your moment. Brandini and Arsel and Ash. This is wild. Brandini, he's a new school SoCal guy. He should not beat Arthur Nash, right? But that's like saying Jasandi should not beat Super Kuma. Duke of Wu-Tang should not beat Super Kuma. You know? Brandini should not beat Arthur Nash. We'll see. We shall see. Brandini. The pick they used for you for the evil commentary is a 10 out of 10. Uh, yeah, I gave it to him. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, man. But thank you. You hope Brandini beats Arthur crying about brackets? Uh, FDX here. R FDX and Rick's in the same pool? What? Okay, that's, that's, that's not terrible. That's the hardest pool I've seen now. This is, this is a pretty even match. That, that's actually probably one of the best pool matches I've seen. Like, each pool has about two players, right? But that one's uh, pretty even. Uh-oh, rip. I don't know anybody in this half. I'm stuck, step bro. Yoj99, Ona Guy James. Ona Guy James, I think, has beaten me at another local, like, years ago. So... I don't want to play Ona Guy James. <laughs> Like, Yoj can beat me. Yoj can definitely beat me. But, like, I should be the favorite in this half of the bracket. And then down here, I don't know what happens. But, will I make it out of winners? I don't know. Depends on playing. Uh, Dojin, two Snogas, FH for life. This is interesting. This pool is an interesting one. Because Dojin, he should make it out of this no problem, right? But who comes out second? 
Sam? FH for life? Two Snogus? I don't know. They're all like... Like, I think Sam should be the second. But I'm not 100%. Yeah, that's good. And then we got Talon Book. The Milkman. Sweet. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A 20 Z boy. Another Grim. There's a lot of Grims. An AV, casual AV out here. In Book's Pool. Get him. Get him. Show him real Mishimas. Not no Kazama action. Pina. Chocobo? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Ishida? I think Pina's got that pool. Oh boy, here we go. Ao Richie, Mystic Namja, Owen 2, Fast Hands Cody. Who's Cusco? Is Cusco a Nina player? Am I remembering that correct? I think Owen 2 is the biggest threat here for Ao Richie. Like, I don't think anyone else in this pool should give him trouble. Cannot recall yet, that can I. The name sounds familiar. He's been labbing the Leo matchup. Yo, get him, Namja. Get him. Uh, then we got Anakin out here. So they put Anakin in the pool where Knee used to be. That's what they swapped. Because this pool with Raylo here is where Knee used to be. Right? But because com people complain, the projected results show Anakin winning. Because of that, they swapped Anakin and Knee. Oh. It's, it's so stupid. So stupid. And what's the projected thing based off of? Who cares? You know, like honestly, who cares? It doesn't even matter, right? And then this this is interesting. Max Ninja is he can really upset people, I think, with his Kunimitsu. If he plays calm and relaxed, he could throw this off. He really could. Wow, Anakin's projected a win. Change the bracket. I don't like that projection. So dumb. Uh, then we got Rick the Ruler, the man can beat anybody. In just Sandy's pool? Ooh. Ooh. I don't know who wins this. This is crazy. And then Tyler 2K's in there as a wild card too. Okay. Just Sandy is not necessarily winning that easy. I think Rick the Ruler. Like if he's playing on, dude, he is very hard to beat sometimes. And he has a lot of king experience because he plays a brawl pro. That's not an easy one to call. Uh, Jasandi's king is different than other kings though. So, you know, it might be one of those situations where having the character matchup doesn't really help you any. Shola, what's up, man? Mm hmm. What Gilky said, Rick played real weird. Shin Paolo out here. Odell the Finest is pretty good too. Interesting pull. I feel like we haven't seen a lot of Japanese names. Kaiser and MYK. Ooh. They didn't touch that. Law. Um, what's this name? It's, it's not Capuan. It's it's a different K name. Watanabe, Kenobi. Fuck. What's his name? So one of those names. He's hella good. He beat Saint in a tournament. Missing Namja, they, they will be in nine minutes, but I'm pretty sure they're not changing it within the nine minutes. Oh, Kasuma's in this pool too. Holy crap. Obi-Wan Shinobi. 
and Kazuma. Yeah, that'd be cool if uh, Kazumi, Kazumi, Kazuma does well there. That'd be really impressive. Yojin boy. Oh my god. Inconsiderate Raccoon and Yojin Boy and Jin4576 and Phantom Knot. I mean, the big hitters here are Inconsiderate Raccoon and Yojin Boy. Um, that would be a really sick upset if Inconsiderate Raccoon could beat Yojin Boy. You guys think that Yojin Boy knows who Raccoon is? I don't think Raccoon's a big enough name for them to know about him yet. Blech. Out of nowhere. L15. Excuse me. Fear of silence. Weapon X. Oh my god. I don't know how much Weapon X have been playing. But Fear should win this pool. But I would not be surprised at all if Weapon X beats him. You think Raccoon will make it out of winners? It's possible. It is possible. Avery out here. Showmatic. Oh man, Avery got an easy path. Fedward 2009 might be a little wrench in his path, but should be okay. L17. Poke Chop. Go Deer. Psychosis, that's a cool name. Dotson, I know I've seen that name at uh, ICFC. Might be pretty good actually. But you can see it's like, you know, it's pretty normal. It's nothing crazy. Fedor is a good king player for sure, definitely. I remember that. Caro uh, here, Hitbox Caro, Akuma player, very good. I think from Japan. Dastry, she's hella good. Ling Xiao Yu, if I'm not mistaken, I keep forgetting. So she beat uh, Pina at, I think, CEO. That would be crazy if Dastry beat uh, Pina at CEO and then beats Caro at Evo. Wouldn't that be cool? Logan, I got no clue, man. I don't think so. I see his name. Everyone's hyping up Carol. He's very good. He's very good. Oh, I didn't put the chat box up. Boom. Uh, Chanel out here. Devil Boo. Not familiar. Unconquerable though. Yo. Unconquerable, if you guys don't know, he's like a SoCal legend. He, he used to play Zafina. Uh, who else? He played someone else. Yoshimitsu for a while. Um, he's like a Tekken Tag 1 champ. Super old school. Currently working on Project L for Riot. It's pretty cool. He also did a lot of uh, Legends of Rune Terra, the card game. Baron Anna. Damn. So many characters. Uh, Shinblade and Mimi in the same pool. Cab Speedy. I just remember hitting me, hitting Conk's uh, Yoshi with the back one two two, the back one two two, and then uh, his Zafina. We had I had a lot of crazy matches. We might have to go over his place. Kuiper out here, Zombie Dog. <laughs> I hope that's the one we think of. Uh, that could be a good match right here for round two. Doctor Blaze and Peanut. All right, all right. Solid pool. Ilawi mains rise up. We need some Warwick out here, man. Kare in this one. Mr. Bladder, Chai Down Deuce. I recognize those names from online tournaments. Uh, Toro, Mishima. And Devil Jin. Boom, boom. El Negro out here. Royal Flex. That looks like a really easy pull.
Was there ever a thing for no player to sign up as bogus names to intentionally not be seated? I mean, I think it's always been possible, but no one's ever done it. AK. I mean, I'm sure people have done it, actually, but it's never been that big of a deal. AK, Kate Roberts. All right, take it back. This might be the easiest pull. I think this might actually be the easiest pull. AK's got the easiest pull. If he doesn't make it out, that's on him. Easy. I'm your father's out here. Nameless king, that's not Malgu. S Talon and I'm your father, okay. Get him, AJ. JDCR. Who's Tomoriru? I don't know. Uh, I gotta believe that JD's got that. I'm your father, follows you on Twitter? Damn. Tomoriru is in Filipino King Player? Really? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, Markman in the bracket. Kuro 10. And Bloodhawk in here too? Oh yeah, I remember this pool. This was the Battle of the Commentator pool. So they didn't touch that either. Get him, Mark, man. Then we got Party. Uh, and Sonkin. This, Lambo? I wonder if that's Lambo from SoCal. Uh, Ty and Sonkin are probably the big names. Fish Sauce is gonna do okay too there. Sonkin at 20Z? I don't know how, man. Don't ask me. We got Trojan from Texas. Pretty straightforward pool, too. Ooh, ah. All right, go back to sleep. Ty probably gonna tear it up, probably, yeah. Peeling in this pool. And uh, ninth pixel, two link players in the same pool. Except that, I don't know that either of them still play leg. There's so many. There's a lot of new players you've never even heard of. I mean, there's 1,200 players in here. And then coming out of Korea, you got Infested. It's infested. Then you got Pickle, dude. This is so crazy. You know, we've talked about it, but... Pickle has the potential to be a top player. He just hasn't cashed it in yet. Infinite SG in this pool too. It, like, if Pickle shows up one day at Evo, and this kind of thing happens at Evo, right? Like, he is a name you gotta watch out for. Hey, is this Luigi? I wonder if that's Goigi. That would be interesting too. But yeah, if Pickle shows up, he he could he could beat anybody, including Infested. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I didn't even wake up that like crazy today. I slept hellas and I woke up at like 5 p.m. or something, 4 p.m. I've only been awake like eight hours. Uh, I probably need food is what it really is. I'm just eating sugar. Ace Unlimited. And Souk and User. Damn. Good luck, Sukin. I like that all of us are so old that it doesn't even matter anymore. It's like, back in the day I would've been like, damn, Sukin's got Ace Unlimited. Like, you better train for Jin and Asuka, blah, blah, blah. It's only Jin now, really. Uh, and like, it'd be like a thing. Now it's like, oh, he's got Ace in his pool. Well, good luck, man. You know, like, we know you can do it, but we also know you might not do it. Junior 20Z. Uh, Crown Rasta, Big Balls. Nothing too crazy. You got this, Junior. You have high hopes of Junior. Junior has been doing well lately. Cherry Berry Mango. Damn, shows like these ads. Since since Shola can't hear me right now, I just want to say, like, he can probably see me in the corner, right? So I'm going to point. So he thinks I'm saying really important. Like, look at this. This is the most important thing. 
all those guys who can't see me because of the ad, they're gonna be seeing me doing all this. They're like, oh my God, we're missing out. Whatever he's talking about is so important. This is the one you don't wanna miss. <laughs> oh man, cherry berry mango in this pool though. Uh, evil Padawan. That's it. Easy. Sometimes you don't get that little screen though. Is that true? Doesn't it always go off to the side? Nobi. Turk Easy. Young P. Billy. Who used to run Wednesday Night Fights. Uh, I don't know what Young P's been playing, but Turk Easy. Get him. Get him. Oh my gosh. Pool should be easy for Nobi though. I'm passing out, dude. Jumanji out here. He's been playing very well lately. Banana? I don't know. Should be easy pull for Jumanji. Jumanji, another one of those guys who, you know, if he has a good day, could be crazy. Maybe they should do ad sizes in reverse? What does that even mean? Tiny little screen for ads and play them forever? <laughs> play, play them forever? Whoa. Kane is the number one seed now. Uh, he's gotten a little better since last week. Raziel. Razel, I don't know how to say it. Uh, but they, they're the two favorites here in this pool from what I can see. I know the name stands out as being a big threat. Mawil, Moil, Armaku, bro. This is a good pool. This is a this is definitely one of those pools you look at and you think, okay, Mawil, he should win. But then Armaku, he plays just crazy enough to beat anybody. Right? Cheap in the cheapskate, the same way. But more solid. So between them two, whoever wins between these two. I think they honestly have a shot against Mawil. Like, he should win. He's, he's the number one seed. He should win. Yeah, he's gonna win. But they also have Armaku over Cheapy, so who knows. Get Spag on it. I can't believe Armaku beat Cheapy there. That pool's gonna be pretty funny, yeah. A wise honey who may not be here because of passport or visa stuff. Uh, then you got Yellowtail, who is Renzo from NorCal. Flower, I don't know. I don't know. This pool, especially if a wise honey doesn't show up, this pool is very easy. That's like a Renzo freebie. Flower is a Swedish lead player. Is he good? Or is he just a Swedish lead player? He's all right? All right. Well, that's good. He's probably the favorite then. Uh, because Renzo, I don't think, plays Tekken very much anymore. Uh, then we got Rangchu. Bloody Samoans in his spot. I don't recognize these names. I got none of these. It's only Rangchu. You got the Rangchu. Steffi Black, the pride of EU. Him and Joka right now, right? Uh, Vesper, this looks like a straightforward pool for Steffi. Boom. Fergus, Palacozzi. This one is interesting because Palicozzi is a SoCal player, and like she gets in these modes sometimes. Like I haven't seen it in a minute, but if she's on, on, pretty good. Uh, yeah, and then you got Forwood, uh, who is a former Street Fighter player turned to Akuma in Tekken. 
Fortress, who's the guy who's talking about Hentai and Sukin's IRL streams. This sounds like a funny pool. Uh, but Pal Cozy Fergus is kind of interesting, if she can make it. Yeah, she used to come out to the old Wednesday Night Fight when we used to have them offline at Esports Arena. Yeah, she, she was like definitely like on the path, on like the rising path, you know? Just frame James. Kiki's in here too. Tyrant. Selena. Uh, MD Luffy. Here we go. Apparently he can't make his visa stuff though, right? So, uh, just frame James. Probably. You can never count with count as James though. He's going to use Noctis and who knows, dude. I don't know what's going to happen there. When is James going to pick Noctis and Baron's bracket? Right there. Trungy. Zeno's King. Good luck. Gus420. Jody the Great. And Job Stout. This pool is interesting because Jody and Trungy. Uh, good luck, Job. You're going to need it. And last but not least, the final pool will be Joey Fury. Yep. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Now let's look at the projected brackets, shall we? Top 48. Tie over Fergus. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. That's NA over EU. That can't be right. Change the bracket. Change the bracket. This is unacceptable. Uh, that's the only reason, right? Like, what the hell? They started with 1,200 players, and now we're down to 48, and NA wins over EU? We need to change the bracket. Somebody get a hold of EVO. That's unacceptable. This, by the way, is crazy. Look, I don't want to get ahead of myself here. I don't want to put any hope into just frame James. But because of this change that they've made, me and James could potentially meet up on winner's side of the bracket. If you guys don't know, 2010, me and Just Frame James played at MLG and Just Frame James beat him. That's crazy. That's crazy. That, that this, because of this bullshit change that they've made. Curly, I don't know if you did this, but I talked about this a second ago. Let me tell you. You don't have to tell me who did it. But I think it's dumb as hell that you guys swap the seeds around. There was no need to do that. No need. Everything was fine. Um, yeah. Anyways. Because of this bullshit. Knee might lose now to just frame James. Uh, which is crazy. That's. That's actually. Because you know what happened was Arson tweeted like. What the hell blah 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 blah. And then Spack tweeted like blah 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 blah. And then. Then the brackets changed. And then Knee responded like what the hell. Why did the hell the brackets change. He probably saw this matchup right here and he don't like it. Um, right? That's... This is a big change. Because look, here's the thing guys. I looked at these pools when they first came out, right? And then I'm looking at these pools again now. And the only major change I've seen has been the top seeds. So when we look at how Nii, Anakin, and Arslan do, and Chikrin, I think. I don't know 100% about Chikrin, but I know the other three for sure have been moved, right? If they lose now on their path to top eight, it's 100% because of this swap in the bracket, which did not need to happen, right? Like, keep an eye on them. That's all I'm saying. Doom, doom. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Bilal over Trungi. Bilal over Joey Fury. 
And Bilal might not even be here. So, if he's not here because of visa issues, then Trungi versus Joey? Maybe, right? Uh, then maybe Joey makes top 48. Damn, they got beast effect going far. Look at just frame James. He's hella far now. Hey, what the hell? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was about to be upset. This is R36. This is not even top 48 yet. Just frame James loses before top 48 to Fergus. Damn. This is the top 48 bracket that I wanted to see. Gen and Khan, Anakin over Gen, Anakin over AK, Arsenal Nash and Shadow still have to play this deep in the bracket. Um, this time Arsenal wins again. Arsenal over Nobi. God damn, so Arsenal's path is Shadow into Nobi to make top 8. Wow. Anakin AK again is much easier than Shadow and Nobi, I think. Uh, they're both they're both pretty hard, and I, I I take it back I take it back, it's not easier. AK is a monster, Gen's a monster. These are equally difficult, and it could be JDCR instead of Nobi. Bro, this is a crazy section of this bracket. Shadow Arslan, Nobi JDCR. What? Winners play each other, and only one of these four makes winner side top eight. And then Chanel Chickering. A wise honey ranked you. A wise honey may not make it either. Uh, and he's supposed to beat Rank you, right? So maybe Rank you Chickering, which never goes well for Rank you. You want to see JD versus Arslan? I'm pretty sure Arslan's already beaten him. Uh, Book and Cuddlecore. Knee and Bilal. Wow, Book beats Cuddlecore. I can't change the brackets. Change the brackets. I can't believe this. That's unacceptable brackets. Cuddlecore can lose the book. Unacceptable. Change the brackets. Uh, knee over book after that is believable. Sure. Knee over Cuddlecore though is crazy. So now, this puts knee in Cuddlecore's path for top eight. Right? This is a... Oh, man. I don't know what the old one was anymore. But that means it would have been Anakin or Arslan in Cuddlecore's path, right? And if you guys have seen, Cuddlecore does very, very well against Anakin. So if this was Anakin, Cuddlecore is looking pretty good, right? If this was Arslan, they went final, final round last time. Uh, who knows, right? Knee, Anakin, and Chicken rotated. Those are the only three that moved. Knee, Anakin, and Chicken rotated. Those are the only three that moved. Hmm. Um, that still seems totally unnecessary to me, but fine. Um, Dude, I'm still in top 48. I did it, guys. <laughs> I did it. Uh, uh, but yeah, my the whole point about this though is that it was th this rotation between these three seeds was so unnecessary. You're woken up at like 7 a.m. Wednesday morning about this, dude. Why did y'all change it? I mean, look, you don't have to answer because it's a public stream and everything, right? But it changes nothing other than the flow of the tournament, right? Like the pools themselves, the very beginning state of the tournament were the same, right? Like all those top seeds were all gonna win their pool anyway. There was nothing stacked about it, nothing, right? It was dumb. And now because of this, you, the bracket is interesting. Like if Kamakor wins here against Book, she could have played Anakin, who she has a very good record of, to make winner side top eight. But instead of it, now she has to play me. You know? You know? 
Joey Fury Gang is on. Uh, this all plays out like crazy. This, who cares at this point? All this loser bracket stuff. Like none of this is gonna be the same. Uh, I, some of it might. But yeah, my patch is still the same. I play super. I lose a super Kuma. If I somehow get past that, it's this one. I kind of want to lose here anyway. Don't you guys want to see a super Kuma Cherry Berry Mango run back? That's the one where he made that super big comeback on. Remember? Well, all won't even be there for Super Kuma. Cuddlecore, OBU, Bilal. Again, beats Cuddlecore to eliminate her. Damn. A wise honey who's not even there is going to beat JDCR to make it in the top eight. <laughs> um, although, maybe he will show up. I, I heard he has visa issues, though. You think I can beat Super Kuma? He beat the crap out of me when we played uh, eight months ago. But. Even if I look, if I beat Super Kuma, can I beat Cherry Berry Mango? Maybe. If Bilal's not there, I can I can squeeze by that. <laughs> uh, and then Cuddlecore, I've beaten her once, but pretty unlikely. You never know the offline. And then Gen, I've only played Gen once in my life. It was in Tekken Tag 2, which was not my good game, right? I, I was terrible at that game. But I played him, and he was like 12 years old. He was at Evo. He beat me so bad. <laughs> like, so bad. I couldn't believe it. Granted, he was using Bob. Um, so he was a cheater back then. Nowadays, with his current characters, I probably have a better chance against him. So, honestly, dude, the Akuma players have to play each other. Carol and Shin Paolo. All the Akuma players are right here in this part of the bracket, dude. Karo, Shin Paolo, and Super Akuma in the loser bracket together here. <coughs> so only one of those three can make loser's side of the bracket. Top eight. Yeah, all of them have to eliminate each other. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Nobi, Rankyu, Chanel, Infested, Yojin Boy. Wow, this is a very Asian half of the bracket here. And I'm your father. And Kakoma. And John Ding. Did y'all put all of the uh, Koreans and Japanese and Asian players here down here together? What the hell? This is crazy. All of them ended up together here, it feels like. You and Carol are this one. Gen is in this one, okay. Take's in this one. Moyle's in this one. AK's here. Book's here. Pina and Kare. JDCR. A Wise Honey, okay. This one just seems like way more Asia, right? Yeah, this entire loser bracket. Minus El Negro and Fergus and Trojan. All these are Asia, right? Like Korea, 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 Japan. Wow. So all the Koreans are here and <laughs> losers. Don't lose, y'all. Yeah. Pakistan is Asia. Yeah, true. But this is just projection. No, man. Projections aren't okay. We need to complain about the brackets and change it. Because Stark.gg said that these are the guys are going to win. Wow, and now look, Arslan wins the tournament. That's unbelievable. Before, did you say Anakin won the tournament? Change the bracket. I don't like what it says. Change it. I'm going to tweet about it. Curly, I'm going to tweet about it. You can hear about it Tuesday morning. So now Arslan beats Anakin. Oh, Arslan just, he, he's not allowed to lose anybody. I see. That's... That's what they changed here, guys. See that? See that? The, 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 the projection now shows that it's impossible for Arslan Ash to lose a single set to anybody. See, he, he actually makes it here uh, on the winner side of the bracket in top eight. And then he loses to no one. And he wins the grand finals. He doesn't even get reset. Easy. It's okay now. The brackets look great. They're fixed now. Good job, everybody. We're all approving it. Uh, 
Knee over Chikrin? Interesting. If this was actually the top 8 winner side, Anakin, Arslan, Chikrin, Knee, that's pretty good. This would be actually a really sick winner side top 8. Because you got the old TWT champ. Uh, you got the two guys who cannot win TWTs. <laughs> I say cannot, but have not. And then you got Anakin, who's trying to beat all three of these guys. You know? So Anakin's the underdog. You gotta root for him. Wait a second! Oh my god, guys! Guys! There's no EU in the top eight! That's unacceptable. You guys need to change the bracket. You guys need to change the bracket. That, they, that, that's, that's disrespectful. You need to change the pools because there's no EU in the top eight. Get Spag on it. Get Spag on it. That's not cool. That's not cool. Nah, man. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Change the whole bracket. I don't like it. I don't care if all the pools look fair right now. No, no, no. There's no EU in this top eight. Change it. Change it. Change it all. Start over. Start over. That's like, You got to start over at this point. This makes no sense. None whatsoever. And there you have it. Those are the pools for Evo. If you guys are watching YouTube, click the subscribe button. And I'm out. Boom.